Welcome back to Sunday Live. We're talking leadership and how to improve the quality of leadership. Our question on Sunday Live tonight is how can we improve the quality of leadership in Kenya? Double two four double two is the SMS number. Your tweets are coming in and we have some of them already. Let's have a look at a couple of tweets. So, uh, Mutongo Chesi, Mutongoi. <laughs> Mutongoi Chesi says, the leaders we have are a reflection of our society. They represent who we are. Good leadership starts with me and you. That is profound. At Samuel Kimeru, continuously holding leaders to account will help improve the quality of leaders. Absolutely. Thank you for that. And Steve Mopao says, as Kenyans, we must understand that the people we elect reflect on Kenya as a whole. We are responsible for the leaders in office. Hashtag Sunday Live. And uh, our team Zoka says, we need to properly vet uh, leaders before we elect them into office and ensure they pass the integrity test. Hashtag Sunday Live. Thank you for that. What wisdom. You know, incredible. Welcome, welcoming into studio now the Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly, Joyce Labo. So thank you for making time to be with us. Of course, we saw how the House ended the session last year. It was a real shock for many people to see mm -hmm. elected members of Parliament behaving in that way. As you come back into a new year, what is the plan? What is the agenda now moving forward? Thank you very much, uh, Julie. But before I really go into your question, I really want to take this uh, chance just to, to really say and to pass my condolences, my own, my uh, electorate in Sotik and um, even the National Assembly to, you know, the brutal murder of mm -hmm. our colleague, um, uh, George Mushai, and his family. We were there this afternoon, and, um, well, they've started, uh, you know, arrangements. And we are really, really saying it was um, that it, it was shocking, mm -hmm. and we hope that, uh, that the government is really going to move with speed to make sure that we, the, the, the killers are apprehended uh, so, so that we can have some, you know, even some, find some closure and make sure that we really do get to the bottom. We don't have all these many, many... And, you know, and I think, I think yes, what yeah. we will do is come back to the issue of security, which yes. is all important okay. before we finish the interview. Okay. Uh, leadership. So <laughs> lead leadership. <laughs> yes, Julie. Um, yes, we did have a very bad, um, um, really, an, an unprecedented event took mm -hmm. place on that 18th uh, um, of December. And um, as you have really rightfully said, we want to move forward. We don't want to take ourselves back to where we were. It was wrong. Many of the things that took place should not have happened. They have never happened like that before. Um, this therefore calls for new measures. It definitely, the, the, our standing orders as they are right now would not be able to, to you know, met out a, a, a punishment mm -hmm. that is punitive enough you know, to be able to handle the kind of uh, behavior that we saw on that day. So this definitely calls for, um, you know, strengthening of our, 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 our standing orders. Um, the Rules and Procedures Committee needs to sit, go back to the drawing board, look at what are some of the things that now we need to look at. For example, anybody touching the maze, you know, that is really the height of disrespect for the House, right. literally. Right. I yes. find it interesting you say that, particularly because there was physical violence, which, you know, is... And to, to honestly say, our students, our children were watching this, and, and then we ask, what example is being set? But you've mentioned the standard orders being addressed and, and per perhaps amended, reframed, changed, strengthened. Yes. yes. Will this house do that? Oh, yes. This house will. I believe they will, because they are also... Do, we, we are not happy about what, what happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, Julie, if we look at Chapter 6, I mean, I have the, 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 the Constitution mm -hmm. here with me. And, I mean, you've seen those very l beautiful words of a leader should be, you know, how they should hold themselves with integrity, how they should make decisions without, uh, you, you, you know, devoid of nepotism, how they should carry themselves in public places, in private, and even in, you know, in, in, in their office, mm -hmm. all the time upholding their office, being aware that they have an office and that they are, they are people who are looking up to them and to hold that office 
with the dignity and with the respect that it deserves. And we want to see it practiced. So the question is, could it get to a point where perhaps in the standing orders, if people do not behave with integrity, do not have respect for each other and for the house, they could be sent home? This is this what you're this saying? Uh, this is what I mean, that, mm -hmm. that really, in my view, we should have such punitive measures, including you know, being sent home, you know, be, 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 the, the, the seat being declared vacant, you know, just to make the point clear that we really cannot stand for the kind of, uh, uh, of behavior that happened on, the, on, the, on, you know, on that day. It is our hope, and I think you'd be living up to expectations if this house does pass uh, something of the sort. I want to come to your personal experience, and we didn't want to pull the footage. We could have pulled the footage. We didn't want to because we believe this is a new year, yes. and we don't want to go back. Water was flung at you, and I think a lot of people at home will remember what happened. Actually. I'm not laughing because it's funny. <laughs> no, no. It, it was disastrous. Water was flung at you. I think I remember seeing you in utter in shock. shock. Have you been able to forgive? Have you gone past that? Are you willing to say bygones are bygones? Let's move on. I mean, Julie, there was nothing that stopped me for example from because there was water right in front of me mm -hmm. picking another bottle and hitting it or throwing the water back at, uh, at uh, you know the, the, the honorable member um, that mm -hmm. was doing that but I I knew that I was in a seat I was the speaker of the house I was the one that was supposed to be in charge of the house and therefore it l made me to hold back and say yes there is all this chaos in this house but I am I, if I take myself there I'll be reducing myself to the level at which this house has gone has sunk so yes I am I, I uh, what I want to say is the behavior of the honorable member was absolutely unacceptable and disrespectful, not of just me, even if you wanted to disrespect me, because disrespectful of the chair, of the speaker's chair. So, for me, if you asked me, you have asked me, I believe that real, some punitive measure needs to be taken. Just the same way I said. Even if I was to say, I have moved on, I have yeah. forgiven, uh -huh. but that does not mean that the measures of the house, ma you know, the, the, the standing orders... You're saying you know, there should be a consequence. Ma that, must be. What there must be saying. a consequence. There must be a consequence for the behavior that took place. Let Whether or not I have said, yes, let's move on. Moving on doesn't mean that the, pan the, the, you know, the, the action is not, uh, is not punished. Let's come to the matter of security because our time is nearly up. Where are we in terms of security? People are looking at the country and saying, what's going on? And, you know, we've seen what happened with Honorable Mushai, which is shocking, but it's about Kenyans and what they're facing every single day in different parts of this country. What do you see as the way forward and the responsibility of the House? I think, Julie, this government is trying. We have had, it has gone through some really trying moments with this new, you know, terror attacks and, and um, I, I, which have really escalated almost across the country. I think they are trying their best to, to put measures in place. Uh, you have seen in terms of uh, the, the change of, 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 of guard, they've tried even to change the minister to make sure that maybe a new face, you know, a more charismatic face come, you know, is presented in the, in the, when somebody also with a background in security, as well as, of course, we are even the IG also, there's been that change. And I'm sure all I'm saying when do we see the yeah. fruits of the efforts I don't think I think I think, I think we are we, may, we are being a bit uh, uh, too impatient I think we need to give it time we've just started all this um, you know uh, digital um, use of di 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 these digital gadgets uh, the, the CCTV cameras and all that we have uh, you know been put in place but it is really the fact is because we are doing them as well you know I right at the time that all these insecurity problems are going on so I want to say we just need to be a little patient. I know we've had really, really rough times, but I believe that moving forward, I think we will soon begin to see the fruits of um, the measures that have been put in place. My final question to you, we're asking people, how do we improve the quality of leadership in the country? When you look at the state of the nation and, and the upcoming generations, the new uh, generations of leaders who almost seem a little bit more dangerous, a little bit more, you know, than, than perhaps the older generation, <laughs> in, in some ways it's, it's, it doesn't seem to be necessarily improving with the generational change. What do we need to do as a nation to ensure things do change? I think, Julie, what needs to be done, really for us, this chapter six, it's just a chapter there, but we are not seeing any real measures 
being taken on anybody, whether they've been found, been found corrupt, whether, you know, the, all the things that this chapter says about leaders. Where does the buck stop on that? The buck stops, in my view, let that commission get up and start doing something about the, 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 the about their the mandate. The Constitution Implementation Commission? No, no, no. Yeah. The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Corruption Commission. Commission. Thank you. That is the one that I believe needs to do something. As to the members of parliament, please let's not make uh, what happened on that day a president. Members of parliament are capable of really picking themselves up and, and, and moving into, I know and I'm very confident that um, everybody is embarrassed about what took place in the house and we are all looking into what measures, how are we going to change and make sure that we don't sink to the level that we sank on that day. So give us an, a chance and I believe that there will be a change in Parliament. Thank you. I'm going to welcome you back at some point, perhaps with some women legislators, to talk about women in leadership and yes. what they're contributing. But we appreciate your time. Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, more work from you, says uh, Deputy Speaker Joyce Laboso. We're taking a break. More on your views in just a short while, but do stay with Sunday Live.